What's going on you guys? So check it right. It seems like Pretty Ugly isn't beating the allegations of him sneak dissing his fellow peers in the game. And this time around, it sounds like he was taking shots at A. Reese once again on his new single So Disrespectful. Now on the intro of the song, it starts off with a monologue of Tony Montana saying the following, You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. And Pretty starts off by saying, We just not impressed though. We don't think you're special. We so disrespectful, so disrespectful. So the way I perceive it, Pretty sees himself as Tony Montana from Scarface. And because he's the villain and protagonist in the film, he's able to identify who's a bad guy just like him. Now obviously Reese identifies himself as the big hearted bad guy. I mean it's in his album title. So Pretty's making reference to that, but makes it known that he can get more disrespectful just like Tony Montana. And I also found it interesting that he isn't impressed by Reese and doesn't consider him as special, since that's been a running conversation about Reese for the longest of times. Apparently he's a chosen one of SA Hip Hop, and Reese himself even makes reference to it on his track God Laughs, where he says, now they say that I'm an anomaly in the system. So you can call it coincidental, but I think not. Pretty knew what he was doing with those lines. But anyways, he still goes on to say, See, what you're really missing is you dudes didn't listen. Spliffing, so my dupe, there's CO2, we admitting. You find the booth, but there's too little business. You don't really got a lawyer if your suit isn't fitted. You brews really kidding, only truth in these writings. Never stayed in my lane, so excuse my position. So Pretty makes reference to smoking a spliff. And we all know Reese is regarded as a weed connoisseur, but those bars could be for anyone, right? But what I found telling is that Pretty gives credit to Reese for being fine in the booth, still chasing back to the weed bars, as well as him also being dope in the studio. But he also makes reference to his business affairs being out of order, I guess referencing that Reese isn't making enough business deals for his career, which he could benefit from. I mean, that's been a long-standing conversation about him, that he doesn't have enough brand deals under his belt and that his team has mismanaged him. And I say this because fans thought he would have bagged the deal from the skateboarding brand Vans since Reese was rocking the brand quite a lot during his TWC days. But unfortunately, that never came to fruition. Fans also wanted Nike to sign the boy. But as we've seen recently, that deal went to Shane Eagle. Now, we don't really know who manages Reese, But I mean, there were rumors that it was his supposed girlfriend, Raquel. But I don't think those rumors were true. Now, Pretty also took shots at Reese for not having a suitable lawyer since he or she doesn't look professional. I guess also giving reason as to why Reese can't bag any brand deals. He also makes it known that he's telling the truth with what he's saying and that he's still coming for the top position as he's never stayed in his lane. Now, he continues by saying, Gotta choose if you're gonna be a goon or a victim. My aid choose in prison for Suzuki's and Nissan's. And before I ever lose my ambition, know that I'm abusing the system. Dudes are full of addiction. I'm a fool with addiction. A few who could use my assistance? Ha ha. So Pretty makes reference to Reese always playing victim on his records. And I can't help but recall what Mash Beast said about Reese when he initially dropped the confrontation where Mash said, Please, it's no confrontation to me if you can't even look me in the eye. At least change your rollout plan because dissing niggas and playing victim every year is not progress. It's too predictable now. And on top of that, Pretty wants Reese to decide if he's actually going to be a goon or a victim like he portrays on his records because you can't play both sides, which also speaks to Reese being the big hearted bad guy. I mean, even though Reese may come across as vulnerable on his records, he still talks his shit. So despite being painted as the bad guy, Reese still views himself as having a big heart. Now I don't know if I'm reaching here, but when Pretty mentions before he loses his ambition, he's abusing the system. It could be another reference to Reese. I mean ambition could be referring to ambitious the label and the system is just another way of describing the game, which Reese constantly raps about in his records. But anyways, Pretty also insinuates that Reese also has an addiction because the nigga loves smoking so much. And I remember last year that he was advocating for guys to stop smoking excessively and rather focus on taking care of their mental and physical health by getting active. But moving along on the bridge of the track, Pretty also says, 
You don't really want it with the bad guys. Stay far away. It's the advice. The bad guys far away from the bad guys. So once again, Pretty makes it known that he's actually the bad guy. And that she gives Reese some advice about staying far away from him. Because going back and forth wouldn't be the best solution for him. Now, do I think Reese should engage? Well, I'm of two minds. On the one hand, I say yes. And I just say this because hip hop is a competitive sport. So I would like to see niggas engage with each other. But on the other hand, no. Because this is Pretty's last album. And it seems like he's using every tactic in the book to try to draw attention to his album. And it's clearly working. Plus, I don't think Reese would want to engage knowing that. Because what does he really benefit? I mean, he's already considered as one of the best, if not the best rapper in the country with the number one album. So engaging with Pretty does nothing for him really. And the guys at Reese's camp already peeped the slick lines that Pretty has been throwing towards Reese. And they already find it unnecessary. So I doubt Reese will respond. But with that said, the track is really dope. I mean, so far, Pretty and Tyson are two for two right now. And they really know how to put on a rap masterclass. So shout out to them. It's just unfortunate that Pretty will be retiring because it definitely sounds like he's still in his prime and getting better each time. So hopefully it's not a retirement, but just a break. But you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Was Pretty Ugly taking shots at A. Reese? And do you think Reese should respond? Comment down below. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It's on to the next one. Peace.